Now, a lot of you might be asking, who's Crash Bandicoot? What's Crash Bandicoot 4 for? And wherefore are the three stories of Crash Bandicoot that came before Crash Bandicoot 4? Well, that's what we're here for. To get you up to speed for Crash 4. Confused? Huh? So are we. But we're in this together. Ready? Let's go forth. It all started on Insanity Island, the birthplace of an Eastern bard bandicoot named Crash. This footloose and fancy free wild animal roamed the jungles until he was captured one day by the mad scientist Dr. Neo Cortex. Cortex and his flunky Dr. Nitrous Brio mutated Crash using their evolve array. Why? Well, to turn him into a bipedal, upright walking, drawer wearing, box matching general of the Cortex Commandos, of course. <laughs> After they evolved him, they blasted him with the aptly named Cortex Vortex Mind Control Device, but the machine malfunctioned, allowing Crash to break loose and make good his escape. Pissed, Cortex looks to his next candidate to lead the Cortex Commandos, Crash's girlfriend, Tana. Crash, dazed and confused from his breathless escape, catches wind of Cortex's plan and vows to save his lady love. Fortunately for Crash, he needs a guide spirit bound to a mask named Aku Aku, who can give Crash special powers and shepherd him on his quest to save his girlfriend and, less importantly, the world. On their quest, Crash and Aku Aku battle their way through a throng of dragonies trying to thwart their mission. And they come in all shapes and sizes, from each tribe Boodaloo to Ripper Roo. Do they all rhyme? No, they don't. There's Koala Kong, this other one, and these guys. After battling atop a waterfall through a mine shaft across a power station, Crash comes face to face with Cortex's number two, Dr. Nitrous Brio, who, thanks to better living through chemistry, morphs himself into the Brio monster. But Crash don't care, nope, he burns down the house, escapes from the great hall, and he meets Dr. Cortex himself atop his airship. Despite his ray gun and hoverboard and really big head, the evil doctor falls to Crash. Thus, the world is saved, and Crash is reunited with his girlfriend. Cortex is presumed dead, but if he was dead, we wouldn't have a second game oh now, would we? <laughs> Crash is relaxing in the woods with his sister Coco. Her laptop battery dies, and Crash, being the great brother he is, goes to grab her a fresh one. But he's abducted by Neo Cortex and his new sidekick, Dr. Engine. They take him to a warp room where Neo says, I am a good guy now. Help me collect these crystals to thwart the destruction of Earth because of some planetary alignment thing. Then Embryo, butthurt from being dumped by Neo Cortex in game one, tells Crash that Cortex is shady and shouldn't be trusted. Collect me 42 gems and we'll stop Cortex's evil plan. Now with not one but two monumental tasks ahead of him, Crash brings in some help his pet polar bear named Polar. Clever. Coco new laptop battery in hand starts hacking into Cortex's communications to see just what he's up to. Meanwhile, Crash is jumping, spinning his belly, flopping, crawling, and sliding his way to collecting the crystals, and for every new warp room, Crash has to battle one of Dr. Engine's lackeys. There's Ripper Roo, then the Kamo. Odo Brothers? And finally, Tiny Tiger, who is not really that tiny. Then Crash comes face to face with Dr. Engine himself, who has this huge robot, robot battle chassis thing. After defeating the evil doctor, Coco finishes her hack and reveals Cortex's true intentions. He's still evil and rocking a new and improved Cortex Vortex. To foil Cortex's plan for world domination, Crash grabs a jetpack and chases him into space. Cortex puts up one hell of a fight, and I mean it. Crash gathers the last of the gems, delivers them to Nitro's Brio, who uses them to power a massive laser, which obliterates the space station and the Cortex Vortex along with it once and for all. Oh boy. The remains of Cortex's space station come crashing down to Earth and destroy a prison holding a great evil in the form of Uka Uka. Who's that? Well, put that thing down, flip it, and reverse it, and what do you got? That's right, Aku Aku, it's his evil twin brother. What? To thwart his evil brother, Aku Aku takes Crash and Coco to Doctor, yes, another Doctor, the fairies, trophies, time twister, time machine, again, not a lot of mystery with these names. Together, Crash and Coco, with some help from Coco's pet tiger, Pura, must gather the crystals which are scattered across time before Cortex can get his hands on them. After gathering five crystals, Crash travels back to ancient Rome to face off yet again with Tiny Tiger. Again, not so tiny. After defeating his tininess, Crash gains the super belly flop ability. Another five crystals unleashes Dingo Dial. Once Crash turns that Dingo into a dingus, he's able to double jump. Yeah, nifty. After 15 crystals, Dr. Entropy himself joins the fight to stop Crash, but no luck, Buttercup. Crash dispatches him with ease and unlocks the Death Tornado Spin. Then Coco and Pura tag team Dr. Engine, unlocking the Fruit Bazooka power up for everybody. Once the crew hit 25 crystals, they pitted against Dr. Cortex once again, but this time, the evil doctor has an evil spirit on his side. Uka Uka and Cortex enter into a heated battle with Crash and Aku Aku. The good guys defeat the forces of evil once and for all, for real this time. The intense battle causes the Time Twister time machine to implode on itself, trapping Cortex, Entropy, and Uka Uka in prehistory, where Cortex and Entropy become babies. Why? Ha, 
The story ends right where we started. Crash, Coco, and the crew kick him back, knowing they can rest easy having saved the world once and for all. Until Crash 4 comes out and we do it all again with new friends, old foes, new fights, some slick dance moves, and a whole hell of a lot of rips in the space-time continuum. See what happens next in this tale of marsupial madness with Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time, and it's available about now. PlayStation.